Hello everyone, Grady Games here, and welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu for the Nintendo Switch. Uh, we are here in Cerulean City once more uh, after our long battle with Zapdos. He is now our buddy following us around here. Uh, before we head on uh, to the Seafoam Islands from uh, Fuchsia City, uh, we did kind of, sort of, oh man, there's a lot of Pokemon here. Uh, we did sort of kind of skip over a major part of the game. Uh, we never went to uh, Saffron City after Brock uh, gave us the tea uh, in, uh, in Celadon City. So we never went back to Saffron City, which is what we're going to do today. Uh, it is the biggest city in the Kanto region of Pokemon. Uh, so it is going to take a little bit of time to explore the entire city. So this might be a two-part series. Uh, as you can see there, I do have two new Pokemon in my party. I have a Gengar and a Meltan. Uh, the Gengar is a little bit of a lower level. Uh, same with the Meltan. Uh, looking to get that Mel Metal and get that Gengar up a little bit so he can be a main part of our uh, party. Uh, before we go any further south, uh, we're going to pick up our Magikarp as well real quick. Oh, he's still flopping in there. Uh, I run the Pokemon Daycare. Uh, we've already read through that. Can I pick him up? Magikarp's level has increased by around 18 since you last visited. I forget what level he was. Uh, it'll cost you 1,900 to take out Magikarp. Uh, yes, let's go ahead and do that. You picked up Magikarp from the Daycare Lady. By the way, your Pokemon found this. One rare candy. Just one? Where did he find it? Find that ditto uh, beanbag chair. If you'd ever like me to raise a Pokemon for you, feel free to drop by any time. Great, thank you. Um, all right, let's check this Magikarp out real quick. Uh, oh, let's sort by level, high to low. He should be pretty up there, right? <laughs> No. Okay, so there's a couple level 38 Magikarps here. Dang, I don't know if one of those are mine or not. Um, let's do Pokemon art. Ah, crap. Maybe he maybe he got attached to our list here at the end. No. He did not. Uh, Pokedex number? Let's try it that way, see if we can find all the Magikarps. Here we go. Yeah, I have... <laughs> Alright. Yeah, I have no... I have no idea which Magikarp that was. That is kind of a bummer. But anyway, guys. Onward, we go towards Saffron City. So all we have to do is give these guards a uh, drink of tea, and they should let us buy. Oh, that tea you have. It looks awfully tasty. What? I can have a drink? Gee, thanks. Um. What do you do? You're not. You're not drinking anything. Are you just saying glug, glug, glug? Well, if you really want to go to Saffron City, I guess I can let you pass. I'll share this tea with the guards working the other gates around the city, too. Great. Thank you. Alright, and here we go, guys. Saffron City. Check out the sign real quick, see what it says. Saffron City, a shining golden land of commerce. Uh, yes, so like I was saying, this is the biggest city in the Kanto region. Uh, so it is going to take a couple episodes to get through exploring everything. Uh, and we're going to start with this house, I guess. This random house that I just barged into. My, my daughter likes to mimic people. It's rather vexing. In fact, people now call her the copycat because of her mimicry. Oh. My daughter is so self-centered, she has but a few friends. Maybe she'll mellow down a little if you show her a Pokemon she likes. What's up, Chansey? Alright, a Pokemon she likes. Hopefully we have a Pokemon she likes. Um. <laughs> by the looks of this room, it looks like she likes the Clefairy. Let's go ahead and take one out. I know I have one of those somewhere. Lots of Pidgeys. I haven't transferred. <laughs> I haven't transferred anything in a while. My uh, 
My Pokebox is a little bit of a poke mess, I guess you could say. Alright, Gengar, just chill out for a second there. Oh. You know what? Yeah, yeah, Pikachu. Sorry, I don't know why you looked at me all aggressive like that. Hi, do you like Pokemon? Uh, no, I just asked you. Huh? You're strange. Hmm, quit mimicking, but that's my favorite hobby. Alright, let's bring out Clefairy real quick, see if she has a response. Oh, there we go. Oh, it's you. Are you here to let me mimic you again? You have a Clefairy with you. Do you want to show it to Copycat? Uh, yeah, sure. Why not? Oh, wow. Real-life Clefairy. I've never seen one before. Thank you so much. You know what? I'll give you a TM that lets your Pokemon create a copy of itself. Substitute. Nice. I will gladly take that. Thank you, little girl. It lets your Pokemon create a decoy of itself by spending HP. Great. Alright, Clefairy, back in the box, never to be seen again. Uh, we gotta find that Gengar. Where it at, though? There he is. There he is. Yes, we have a lot of Pokemon. I probably should transfer some. But not right now. Man, all these kids have Nintendo Switches in this game. Imagine that. Alright. So, uh, yeah, this city is also the home of Silphco, which I believe Team Rocket is trying to overtake. What do you want? Get lost, you little squirt. Wow, rude. Can we go in this tunnel? Uh, trainer tips. The new Ultra Ball is even better at catching Pokemon than a Great Ball is. Pokemon, uh, uh, Pokemon than a Great Ball is. Tried on those hard to catch Pokemon. Oh, yeah, I tried. <laughs> I tried an Ultra Ball on Zapdos. It didn't work out too well for me. Ow, you jerk! Watch where you're walking. Wow. Is he gonna sue me? The copycat is cute. I hear she really likes Clefairy, so I'm gonna go show her, uh, show it to her once I catch one. I got one already, bud. I already showed her. Thank you for writing. I hope to see you soon. Hey, don't look at that letter. Are you kids just here unsupervised? That's pretty un that's pretty dangerous. There's a, there's a creeper outside of your house, guys. Man, this city is so big. Check out the latest from Sylph. It's the product everybody wants. Release date yet, not yet decided. Interesting. Oh, hey. Oh, man, it's Team Rocket. Just let us through already. No way, only authorized members are allowed. I was told to let no one else in. How can you say that when we're on the same side? How are you? Do you deny a beautiful girl what she wants? Move it already. Oh, wow. Hey, Jesse, wait for me. Man, she just bowled in there. Well, that's unfortunate. Silphco head office. Hey, buddy. Blurg. Looks like he blacked out. All right, let's go check out the uh, the Silphco, I guess. You there? Yes. I have to tell you that our office is a bit of a disaster right now, a real disaster. This is no place for kids, and not when there are so many dangerous people around. Blue. Oh, don't be such a stick in the mud. You won't even let us have a little look around. Oh man, everybody's here. Oh, you're you're blue, the blue. Mm mm mm. Grady, I've been looking for you. What are you doing in a place like this? Uh, yeah, well, Team Rocket. No surprise. Those Team Rocket goons are causing trouble all over the place. You and me are on the same wavelength, Gary. We can't keep letting Team Rocket do whatever they please. Uh, what do we do? We do whatever we can do. So in short, the plan is this. Grady is going to drive Team Rocket out of Silphco, uh, Silphco just like he planned. But it'd be crazy to try something like that alone, so Gary is going to go with him. Right. 
While you pip squeaks do that, I'm gonna do a loop around all of Kanto, squashing out Team Rocket wherever I find them. One of us is sure to find out where their boss is hiding. Yeah, I've already found out, actually. And while I'm at it, I'll swing by the Pokemon League to tell the bigwigs there what's going on. Awesome, do you think the Elite Four might come help us? Maybe. So that's the battle plan, guys. Time to split up and put it into action. Heh. <laughs> if only it were that simple. Fact is, there's one more thing we've got to do here first. Grady, Gary, if you want me to leave this place up to you two newbies, then prove that you're up to the task. What? I don't care who goes first, so show me what you've got. Wow. That was the most dialogue I've ever seen. So you're my first challenger, huh, Grady? Yes. Yes, I am. Here I go. Yeah, so anyway, guys, uh, we skipped Saffron City. We went straight to Fuchsia City. So our Pokemon are a little bit higher than the Pokemon that you're going to encounter at this part in the game. So all of these battles should be should be a breeze. Uh, Pokemon Trainer Blue, first and foremost. Executor. Those dang executors. Alright, Venusaur versus Executor. There we go. See, Executor is a level 38. I'm a level 54 already, so this isn't going to be too, too bad. Oh, don't do that. Man, that hit. Hard. Dang. I know, well, I, like I said... Shouldn't be too, too hard. Alright, and down goes Executor. 706 experience. Not bad. Gengar is a level 16. A Charizard? Uh, yeah. I'm gonna send out Blastoise. Yes, so Mewtwo is not in our party, and Charizard is no longer in our party either for the time being. Until we can level up uh, Meltan and Gengar a little bit. And at level 40, but he should go down with at least one Bubble Beam. Yes! Down goes Charizard. 959 experience, that wasn't too bad. Meltan, level 18, great. That is what I want. Meltan learned a Thunder Wave. And Gengar is a level 17. Two times, two levels up in one fight. Two level ups in one fight. Exactly what I'd expect from a Pallet Town, a pallet town Trainer, $11,000 for that. Oh man, so you really are ready for Team Rocket. I feel pretty good about leaving this place in your hands. Then you're next, Gary. Come at me, I'm just getting warmed up. Is that it? <laughs> Oh, geez, just watching your battle made me nervous. Did you see his Pokemon's eyes? They blew me away, but I'm not backing down. Gritty, you go on ahead. I'll be right behind you. All right. Blue is famously strong trainer, you know, and he didn't look like he was holding back much either. You must be pretty special yourself. I hope you really can save Sylph. Oh, so the receptionist is a, uh, is a friend. She is an ally. These are some nice fountains. The Sylph. The Sylph logo. Man, this is a giant lobby. Alright. <laughs> I'm assuming we can't take the ele- Oh, maybe the elevator does work. Dang, look how many floors there are. Oh my gosh, let's start with uh, the second floor. Man, the Sylph code might be- Oh, these are the ones with the teleporters. I forgot about that. Alright, so this... I mean, even Sylphco might just be a... Uh, a two-parter in of itself. Hey, kid. What are you wandering here for? Well, I'm here to eliminate Team Rocket from the Sylphco. Starting with you. Really, bro? Eradicate? Come on, dude. This is all you guys got. 
you guys are trying to take out or infiltrate the biggest company in the Kanto region, and that's all you're bringing to a dan the dance, eradicate. Too easy. I goofed. Yeah, you did. Alright, maybe we can get some money. I spent a lot of money on Pokeballs recently. Hey, guy. It's off limits here. A go home. Wow. I'm trying to help you, guy. Scientist Jerry. And Electrobuzz. Hit him with that Razor Leaf. That's a one hit KO. That should be the story for most of this. One hit KOs everywhere. Oh, Dragonair grew to a level 43. Trying to get that Dragonite as well. I don't know if you can get a Dragonite through just leveling up. It has not happened yet. You're good. Oh, his glasses broke. $2,100 for winning. Take it. An X attack. What is it? What, where does this take me? What is this thing? Oh, is this like a little healy thing? Wait a minute. Maybe I jumped ahead a little bit. I don't know if I wanted to be up there. Oh man, I remember this uh I remember this building from when I was a kid. It used to give me headaches all the teleportation. No kids are allowed in here. Let's just go floor by floor eliminating everybody we can. Team Rocket Grunt. Oh, this guy has three Pokemon. Hit him with that Razor Leaf, the one-shot KO. Oh, not a one-shot KO. And he used self-destruct. Crap. Didn't really did. That did not do much to Venusaur. And a coughing. Yeah, let's go ahead and send out another. Let's send out Zapdos. Let's see Zapdos in battle. I'm with it. Uh, hit him with that drill pack. Oh, come on. You can't give it to me? Oh, and Zapdos is poisoned. Great. The bane of my existence being poisoned. Um, yeah, let's hit him with another drill pack. Why not? Alright, what else you got here, buddy? And another, and another coughing. Original. Very original. Hit him with that Thunderbolt. Can we get that one hit KO? Yes, we can. Good job, Zathos. You're tough for a kid. Yeah, you just lost to a kid, pal. How do you feel about that? Oh, man. I need the key card. Let me in. Alright, we got a super potion. That might come in handy. Alright, so we can't get in there. Let's uh let's see where this teleportation thing takes us. Then we might go back to the other one. See what floor am I even on right now? That's I think that's like the main problem why it's so confusing. 
There should be a little thing that pops up that says you're on the uh, second floor or whatever, third floor or whatever. You get my point. And a ghastly. Interesting choice. And here's what we're gonna do that ghastly. We're gonna hit it with that Mega Drain. Oh boy. Took all of its health down. Wow, that was a crazy Mega Drain. Meltan, level 19. Nice. Gengar? No? Uh, no, we're gonna Mega Drain the Persian as well. I need all that health back. Thank you. I'll take it. Come on, Gengar. There we go. Gengar's a level 19. Slowly getting up there. Gengar wants to move, learn the move Sucker Punch. What moves does he have? Confuse Ray, Poison Gas, Will of the Wisp, Nightshade. What does Sucker Punch do? Oh, attack first. Alright, let's go ahead and forget Poison Gas. That Gengar's moveset is not actually that bad. It's actually pretty nice, I think. It looks good. Let me in! Oh man, we need a key card. Okay, so this is where this one thing teleported me. What floor am I on? Where where am I? What year is it? Okay, wait. Aha! So I'm in here now. Surprise! You're causing us problems. Yeah, yeah. I kind of know. Scientist Parker. Electrode. Another Electrode. Just, just what I wanted to see, guys. Hit him with that Mega Drain. Get, our, get all of our health back. Or... Yeah, there we go. Nice. That Mega Drain came in clutch. I didn't have to heal Venusaur at all. A Porygon? Uh, no. But that's crazy. I do have a Porygon in my Pokemon Go park, but this is the first time I've actually seen one, like, in, in the game. And he's gonna withstand that. Hyper Beam? Oh no. Oh, thank goodness. Hyper Beam is no joke. Alright guys, sorry scientists. Gengar, level 20. Getting up there quickly. Huh? I lost? Yeah, you lost. Yes, you did. What is this thing? A revive? Revives always come in handy. I never buy them. Alright, what is this thing? Alright, let's get out of here. Alright, so that teleporter is going to take me back downstairs? Question mark? I'm not really too sure what floor I'm on, so it's hard for me to judge. Oh, what's this guy doing? Sylph has been taken over. I guess this is the end for us. No, fam. I got your back. I got your back. No need to worry. I will handle this. A small 10-year-old boy will handle this. I am one of the four Rocket Sisters. Well, where are the other three? And a Grimer. 
Saw a lot of those last episode in the power plant. Alright, now that we're at full health, let's go all out with the Razor Leaf. Ooh. Oh, no, no, no. What are you disabling? No! Damn it, Grimer. There we go. What else you got? Coughing? Another coughing. Oh, uh, let's send out Zapdos. Oh uh, no, he's poisoned. Let's send out Dragonair. He has Thunder Weave. I want that Dragonite. That's what I want. That's what I'm going for. Dragon Rage, Dragon Tail Slam. Let's do Thunder Wave. Paralyzed shouldn't be able to attack. Good, good Dragon Rage. Not bad. Oh man, don't poison me. I get poisoned. It feels like I get poisoned so many times. Alright, there we go. Last Dragon Rage. Should knock him out, and it does. Sorry, coughing. Sis, no! Don't give me a, don't give me a timeout. 924 for winning. Alright guys, does this plaque tell us what floor we're on? We're on the freaking 8th floor? How did that happen? We were just on the 2nd floor. Let's hop in this elevator. Let's go back down to the 3rd. Man, I... Initially when Blue was telling me he was going to go all over Kanto and to the Elite 4 to tell him what's up, I didn't think he would have time, but he might. I work for a Silphco. What am I to do? Give me the key card. Give me a key card, dude. Please. All right, let's not hit that yet. What's this thing? Uh, let's see. Actually, let's see where this goes. All right. I don't want to. I don't want to mess with him yet. I don't want to mess with him yet. Let's just keep. Let's just keep exploring. I don't want to mess with him. That's the guy that we saw in, uh, I forget his name. Uh, Giov it's like, uh, Giovanni's office or whatever. Gosh, I can't think of his name now. I don't think he was in the original, in the original games. If you get in our way, then you'll really be in our way. <laughs> yeah, I can't argue with that, I guess. Team Rocket Grunt. Haunter. Alright, Venusaur. Hit him with that Razor Leaf. Oh, really? He's gonna hang on there? Man, he is just gonna hang on for like that one HP he's got. Oh, and a sucker punch. Get fainted. Nice. Meltan, level 20. Great. Gengar? No, no Gengar. I give up. Alright, can one of these take us in those rooms? There we go. Okay, so... Wait, no, no, no. Man, I'm so confused. <laughs> I don't know what floor I'm on. This is not the third floor. 
somebody let me out, please? I am but a small child. This building gave me such headaches as a kid. Did this just freaking do that? Did that really just do that? It transferred me from here to there, but the door is already open. Absolutely useless. Where does this one take us? Oh, okay, this is the, uh, okay, I know this one. Eek, no, stop, help. Oh, you're not with Team Rocket, I'm sorry, I thought. Oh, I'll give you one of our, one of our products, please forgive me. TM42 self-destruct. Not a big fan of the self-destruct move. Okay, so this is the, oh my gosh, this is the second floor, I think. Because we saw her earlier. Alright, let's go up to the fourth. Can't see me. You cannot see me. Intruder spotted. Alright, do you got a coughing? Yeah. Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. Ooh! One hit KO with Pedal Dance. Nice. I will take that all day. And Venusaur level, uh, leveled up to a 55. Great. Uh, an electrode. Uh, yeah. Oh, man. Alright, let's switch to Blastoise. Even though electric on water, we should get the first move. Who knows if it will uh, work out for us or not. All right, there we go. Yes, it did work out for us. One shot, faint. And Gengar is a level 21. Good job, buddy. Toxic. Um, no, we'll keep old moves. Who are you? I'm a small child here to ruin your company's plans. What's this guy doing? Shh, can't you see I'm hiding? Wow. In the world of Pokemon, why would these people have, like, real- why would these people have real jobs? I'd be a trainer all day. Alright, this place is open. This place is not. Where does it- does this take us into that back room? What the heck, man? <laughs> Alright, let's just go back. Let's just go back. Yes, I know Team Rocket's taking control of Silphco. And a Rattata. Come on, dude. You're gonna take over Silphco with a Rattata? Please, fam. Oh, and a quick attack. Alright. I see you. And now I don't. See you later, Rattata. And a Grimer. Uh, no, we'll keep battling. Just for time's sake. Dang it, Grimer is uh, absorbing those leaves, I guess.
And one more should do the trick. And it does. Only 214 experience, great. Arrgh. Sorry, buddy. Alright, does this take us in here with him? I don't know what floor I'm on. 10th floor, that's... okay. Let's go back. We're getting a lot of... I don't know where I'm ending up. These teleports are kind of a pain in the butt. I just want to get like a card. An employee card. Oh man, we got a magician here. Alright guys, uh, we are on the fifth floor now. I think that's where I'm going to leave things off uh, for now. Uh, this is certainly a big building to go through. We are hitting the 30 minute mark uh, as well. Uh, so I'm going to leave the episode off here as I was saying. Uh, if you did enjoy the episode, please definitely drop a like and a comment below. Uh, and if you would like to see more episodes of Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu in the future, including the conclusion of exploring the Silphco, uh building headquarters, uh, please definitely hit that subscribe button as well. It definitely helps out a lot. Uh, and I will see you guys on the next episode.